A ball is thrown off a two-story house 24 feet above the ground. The starting velocity, also known as the initial velocity, is negative six feet per second. The negative means its initial velocity is downward toward the ground. The equation h equals negative 16 t squared minus six t plus 24 can be used to model the height h of the ball after t seconds. About how long does it take for the ball to hit the ground? When the ball is on the ground, the height h is equal to zero, and therefore to answer this question, we substitute zero for h and solve for t. Performing the substitution, we have the equation zero equals negative 16 t squared minus six t plus 24. Let's solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula shown here, where in this form, a equals negative 16, b equals negative six, and c equals 24. But instead of using these values for a, b, and c, let's go ahead and factor the greatest common factor from the right side of the equation. The greatest common factor would be two, but instead of factoring out two, let's factor out negative two, so the coefficient of the t squared term will be positive. So if we factor out negative two from the right side, our equation is zero equals negative two times, if we factor out negative two from negative 16 t squared, we're left with positive eight t squared, Notice if we multiply, we still have negative 16 t squared. If we factor negative two from negative six t, we're left with positive three t, so we have plus three t. If we factor negative two from positive 24, we're left with negative 12, and therefore we have minus 12. Notice how this equation is equal to zero when the quadratic inside the parentheses is equal to zero. So now we can use the quadratic formula and use a equals eight, b equals three, and c equals negative 12. However, if we wanted to, we could also divide both sides of the equation by negative two. If we simplify, zero divided by negative two is still zero, so we have zero equals. On the right, negative two divided by negative two simplifies to one, and therefore we have zero equals eight t squared plus three t minus 12. Let's go ahead and solve the equation in this form. We're in this form, a, equals positive eight, b equals positive three, and c equals negative 12. Let's continue on the next slide. The next step is to substitute a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. But of course, instead of x on the left side, we will have the variable t. So we have t equals, in the numerator, negative b is going to be negative three, and we have plus or minus the square root of b squared is the square of three, minus four times a times c is minus four times eight times negative 12. All this is divided by two times a, which is equal to two times eight. And now let's begin simplifying. We have t equals, in the numerator we have negative three plus or minus the square root. We need to be careful when simplifying the discriminant we simplify the exponents first. Three squared is equal to nine. And then we have minus four times eight times negative 12. Four times eight times negative 12 equals negative 384. But we still have this minus here. Minus negative 384 is equivalent to plus 384. The denominator is two times eight, which equals 16. Nine plus 384 is equal to 393. So we have t equals negative three plus or minus the square root of 393, all divided by 16. The square root of 393 does not simplify. So one solution is t equals negative three plus the square root of 393 divided by 16. Another solution is t equals negative three minus the square root of 393 divided by 16. Let's break this up into two separate fractions. So here we have negative three sixteenths plus the square root of 393 divided by 16. And here we have negative three sixteenths minus the square root of 393 divided by 16. And now we'll have to get our decimal approximations for both of these using a calculator. So for the first value of t, we enter negative three divided by 16 and then plus the square root, 
which on this calculator is second x squared. And then we have 393, right arrow to get outside the square root, and again divide by 16. Enter to two decimal places, t is approximately 1.05. And this would be seconds. And now the only difference for the second value of t is instead of plus, we have minus. So on this calculator, we can press second enter, which brings up the previous entry, and the arrow to the left, and change the plus to a minus. And enter to two decimal places, we have t is approximately at negative 1.43. So both of these values of t are approximate solutions to this algebraic equation, or this quadratic equation, but remember t represents time, and time cannot be negative, and therefore the ball will hit the ground in approximately 1.05 seconds. Let's write the answer as a complete sentence. I hope you found this helpful.